all narcissistic people like to keep their manipulative behaviour hidden from you. They don't want you to recognise what they're doing to you because that would lead you to make a choice that doesn't work in that narcissist's best interest. So all narcissistic people are more than capable of acting in covert ways. When it comes to a narcissist, they are incredibly self-entitled people who lack the empathy to care for those around them. You can have some narcissistic people who are grandiose and they are full of that charismatic charm and they have high arrogance traits where they can almost be who they are no matter who they are around and they just have so many people that just buy into their lies, buy into their illusions that they can get, seemingly get away with their behaviour with more ease, rationalise and justify their behaviour away. They can still do this in covert ways. So five covert ways a narcissist will distract you from the truth of what they're doing to you. And one of the first ways a narcissist will distract you from what they're doing to you is by gaslighting your reality by getting you to doubt the experiences you've you've lived, the things that you have been told, the feelings that you are having, by getting you to second guess everything about yourself so that you don't question the very person who's getting you to doubt and question and blame yourself. They can do this by simply justifying their behaviour, rationalising their behaviour. We all know within ourselves how easy it is to take our moods out on our loved ones. We all know in ourselves how easy it is to have a bad day and not feel like doing anything. Narcissistic people use this to their advantage. They use this as leverage to continuously hurt those that they claim to care about. They rationalise and justify their behaviour away. So you almost feel sorry for them. You feel bad for them. You try to help them, which actually enables them. And when they, when they don't get what they wanted, they can go on to the passive aggressive behaviour where they can simply just fall silent on you. And as people with hurt feelings, when somebody has lied to them and they're not sure what to say, can fall silent temporarily while they gather their thoughts to then go and communicate with that person, you can almost relate, even if you don't fall silent on other people, even if you hate not speaking to other people, even people that you have been hurt by, if you're one that wants to communicate and sort things out, when they fall silent on you, you can almost see that they need space and they need time. And you might chase them to try and resolve issues with them. They're not interested in this. They're interested in getting their own way. They might sulk. And people can sulk. Toddlers sulk and they usually grow out of it at some point. People can sulk, people can have just had one of those days and they can come in and they can just want to be left alone because they're processing the things that they have been through on that day. With a narcissistic person, you might try to see if you can help them, see if you can support them, to which they're going to somehow take their mood out on you, blame you, shame you, accuse you of not leaving them alone. And as you've been trying to make things okay for them, you question yourself for not leaving them alone. Yet if you leave them alone, you're then in the wrong for leaving them, them alone and not looking out for them, not being there to help them. So you cannot win with them. When a narcissistic person is sulking, you are not going to be able to win with them because they're not going to come forward and say, I've just had one of those days, I just need an hour. Can you just give me an hour, please? And then come and tell you about their day. 
they fail to communicate with you. So you're forever second guessing how you need to act and respond to them. And it's a pattern of behaviour. When you almost live in fear of what mood they're going to wake up in, what mood they're going to come home in, walking on eggshells around them, trying not to upset them, trying not to set them off. It's who they are. It's a pattern of behaviour. It's not a one-off. It's not somebody who's having a moment and is willing to communicate with you. It's somebody who is purely interested in themselves. And one way they try to make things up to you is by promising you things. Promising you things in the future. Promising they'll communicate next time. Promising they'll not sulk next time. Promising they'll not fall silent next time. Or that intermittent reinforcement where all of a sudden when they're okay, they're then going to take you out and spoil you and treat you to make you feel grateful for them grateful towards them so that you support them in their negative moods towards you and as we can all promise somebody something and then life gets in the way and we might have to back down on a promise where most people would be like oh I'm sorry this has cropped up apologizing because they recognize that they're letting somebody down and informing them I'm sorry this has cropped up can we rearrange and rearrange and then following through with that rearrangement with a narcissistic person they're going to promise you something and then they're going to rationalize why they didn't deliver on that promise they're going to claim that well if you hadn't have done this or they're going to provoke you into a mood they're going to fall silent on you they're going to sulk at you they're going to bring you down they're going to create that atmosphere so that when you're not at your best they're going to turn around and say well who wants to go out with you who wants to take you so that you feel like the one that's causing the issues within the relationship calling a narcissistic person out on a promise they fail to deliver on they're going to turn around and claim that they never said that or rationalize that you didn't do something for them that you have done for them and then you find yourself explaining and defending yourself to them for the things that they are failing on in life they go around ruining special occasions because they're incredibly envious of other people they're also incredibly competitive they don't want to see other people doing well they don't want to see other people's happiness they want other people to suffer as they believe that they are suffering so they will go all out to ruin a special occasion and then they will blame you as to the reason why the occasion got ruined it's very difficult to have celebrations with narcissistic people who don't want to celebrate other people's happiness don't want to celebrate other people's success and whenever you call them out on any of this kind of behavior they're going to play the victim they're going to accuse you of attacking them not caring about them being awkward being selfish they're going to accuse you of being the one in the mood that they've baited you into they're going to accuse you of being the one that's abusive towards them Whenever you try and communicate with a narcissist, you're going to leave the conversation more confused than when you entered the conversation as they're going to turn into the victim and find any way they can to blame you for their behaviour because narcissistic people don't want to take responsibility. They feel entitled to do as they please. They are willing to exploit people they're willing to emotionally manipulate people in order to get their needs met and they lack the empathy to care. If anyone has any thoughts on this video please do add those into the comments. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel it's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel please do subscribe.
If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.